Welcome to another episode of Agri Updates. As we try to promote our main event here at the Department of Agriculture, Agri Expo 2023. Today, I'm going to explain to you in a bit more detail some of the activities that you can expect to experience when you visit our expo this year. Food. Agriculture produces food. When the term agriculture is mentioned at any time, you think of vegetables, you think of meat, you think of fish. Well, we at the Department of Agriculture will be featuring quite a bit of food demos for this year expo. Well, our new layout will be putting two demo booths this year in the middle of the field. One demo will be dealing with technical stuff and the other will be dealing with food preparation. So come on out and see. You may learn a thing or two to take back home, you know, tweak it a bit in your own kitchen. But without any further ado, I'll pass you over to my colleague, Shaki, who will give you more detail and show some of the faces that would be doing demos here on the day. Hi, I'm Shaki Mahanli, the coordinator for the technical demo booth at the Agri Expo 2023. This episode will be showcasing what the divisions across the ministry and also outside entities that they do on a daily basis which is regards to technical aspects. For extension, we'll be showcasing a fertigation system setup and also a solar system setup that farmers can use in the protection of monkeys. Stay tuned as you see what happens within the division and the department and the ministry and on the outside of agriculture. We're here at the Propagation Unit in Prospect, and I have here with me the head of the unit, Miss Rondo, and I'm going to ask her to tell us a bit about what the Propagation Unit will be showcasing at the Technical Demo Booth at the Agri Expo. Hi everyone in TV land. My name is Rhonda and I'm Agricultural Assistant here at the Propagation Unit. Well, for the um, Agri Fest, Propagation Unit will be doing um, two demonstrations actually two different demonstrations one will be on grafting and one will be on ear layering what is grafting well grafting is basically a method of plant propagation where you're combining two or more plants mm -hmm. to make it one plant and ear layering ear layering is where you have the mother plant and you're removing about approximately two to two and a half inches of bark from the plant you're mm -hmm. using um rooting powder to promote the growth and you're also using a medium, a soil medium of your choice to um, help the roots to form safely within that, um, within a bag or a foil. Why do you guys do it here at the unit? Well, we do it here because it's, um, people want plants that will fruit like tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Let me put it that way. So basically what we, why we do it is to promote the exact variety of the plant. Mm -hmm. You may have a mango that is really sweet and you want that particular mango. Mm -hmm. You're taking it from a parent plant and when you graft it, it doesn't change. That is the exact type of mango you're going to be getting. So that is, a that is one of the reasons. Next reason is to keep the tree shorter so it doesn't grow as fast as when you're doing seeds. Okay. And the next thing is to ensure that um, the disease is not passed from, for example, you have a plant, an amri poly tree, mm -hmm. that is carrying a particular um, disease and there's another type that is not carrying a disease. You use that plant, you ain't gonna get a disease transferring to that other plant. So there are many different reasons why we do grafting. Okay. Shorter bearing time, shorter tree, mm -hmm. and exact variety. Okay, so I'm inviting the general public to come on out on the 30th and 31st of March, 2023, to experience technical unit, doing technical demonstration at the Agri Expo. So don't miss it. What are some and of plants? some of the trees that we will be having there will be mangoes. We actually have seven different varieties of mangoes. Mm -hmm. We will have limes, soursop, mulberry, avocados, um, passion fruit. We have two different kinds of passion fruit, sugar apple, and the list goes on and on. So check us out on the 30th and 31st of March. Hi, Randa. See you there. <laughs> I'm amongst two lovely ladies here at the VET unit and they're going to tell us a bit of what they will be highlighting and showcasing at the technical demo for Agri Expo. Kiane, let's start with you. Good morning. So at the Agri Expo, I will be demonstrating how to do a simple fracture on an animal. 
This is something your farmer could do on their own, and if it gets a little difficult, you could always call a technician. Okay. Fractures include such as? You know, breaks in the limbs. Sometimes you have fractures in the hip, but you can't really do much with that. But we'll be dealing with a limb fracture. Okay. And we have Vinci on my left. Tell us what you'll be doing at the technical demo, at the technical demo booth. Hi, good morning. Um, I'll be doing the automatic waterer for farm animals that include like goat, sheep, and cattle. Okay. Is there anything, any additional attractions that will be coming from the vet at the Agri Expo? Well, we'll be having a petting zoo for all ages, not just the little ones. We're going to have some puppies, we're going to have a goat, a sheep, and a tortoise roaming. So come on and check it out. Okay. What about you? Any additional attractions from vet this year? Yes, we have in our exotic area where we have different birds, variety of birds and other animals. And we also have in a raffle this year for the farm animals, which is raffling a goat, raffling a pig, and a cattle. What are the prices like? The prices are for the goat is five dollars, the pig is also five dollars, and the cattle is ten. Okay. Well, encourage persons to come on out to the Agri Expo and make sure that they visit the vet slash livestock booth. Oh yes, we're ready. <laughs> so make sure you're there on the thirtieth of March and the thirty first to see our area. <laughs> The excitement is there, as you can see. So make sure you come on out and patronize what the vet slash livestock unit will be showcasing at the Agri Expo 2023. Okay, basically what we're doing here is a demonstration, the preparation of um, hams. Um, normally what you do first is to get the legs. Then you first have to get the actual weight of the arm, of all the legs that you're going to process. And after you get the actual weight, you have to make a brine. The brine is actually what you're using now to pump the legs. So you pump the brine, you fully pump the brine into the legs so you have an even distribution throughout the legs. And after the process of pumping, you then immerse the legs into the set brine for a period of 12 to 24 hours uh, into the brine. After the 12 hours or the 24 hours, you remove the hands, the legs from the brine and then we put them into the vacuum tumbler. The vacuum tumbler actually just bounces the, the, the legs around so that the brain could be evenly distributed throughout the legs. From the vacuum tumbler, they then remove and then go straight into the smoker for the cooking process, which takes about seven to eight hours at a cooking temperature as about 160, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. We're just encouraging one and all ham lovers, pork lovers, come to the abattoir demonstration booth where you could actually see the preparation of the legs that we actually turn into ham or make the, the ham that you, the public, love so much. We're at the quarantine division and I have here Mr. Bart, who's the quarantine officer, and he's going to tell us a bit about what his division will be showcasing for the technical demo booth at the Agri Expo. Yes, good day ladies and gentlemen. My name is Quincy Bart and I'm here to present to you on my technical demonstration. It, it will be of crop protection practices. We'll be showing individuals some safe ways how to prevent household pests such as ants and cockroaches and common backyard pests such as mealybugs and aphids so that when you, you come across these things you can know what to do and eradicate them safely. Okay, give some examples of some of the stuff that you'll be showcasing there. So I will be doing bait traps for ants, we'll be doing organic and insecticide sprays for aphids and mealybugs. Okay. Encourage persons to come on out and make sure they see what you will be showcasing at the demo. So I would like to encourage everyone to come on out to Agri Expo and uh, learn a lot and uh, able to come and spread the knowledge. Thank okay. you. All right. I'm standing here between two chefs at the Nivitalia restaurant and firstly I'm going to ask them both to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is uh, Chef Vikram. I'm the head chef in New Italia. Good. And you? Good morning, my name is Uday. I am a sous chef in this kitchen. Okay. So, Nivitale restaurant will be at the Agri 
Expo and they're going to be participating in the food demo booth. So I'm going to ask the chefs to tell us one of the, the two dishes that they'll be showcasing there. Yeah, we're making the lobster ravioli there and seafood is pretty ink uh, pasta. Okay. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the dishes. Yeah, the lobster ravioli we will make the stuff, stuff with lobster and the seafood spaghetti we will use the shrimps, clams and some lobster and some uh, white wine sauce in this. Okay. Are you guys excited to be at the Agri Expo? Yes, yeah, we're yeah, excited. Definitely. Yes, we're excited to see you guys there. Okay, so encourage the general public to to come on out and support the Agri Expo and also see you guys in action. Yes. Okay, we are coming there Friday there at 10:30. Uh, okay. And we can, we will see you guys there. Okay. Uh, please uh, join us on uh, us of uh, Friday, 30 of March. Please join us. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you so very much. I'll be looking forward to sample your dishes on the day. Okay. No problem. Sure. Right. Thank you so much. All right. Then. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Man. See you here. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> We're at the Kids Bay Fruit Orchard, and I have here with me Miss Fiona, and she's going to tell us what is expected for the technical demo booth at the Agri Expo from Kids Bay. Hi. Good morning. My name is Fiona, and I'm from the Kids Bay Fruit Orchard, and. At the open day, we will be demonstrated how to make compost at your very own home. Okay, so what is the importance of compost? What can compost be used as? Compost is one of the best and the cheapest fertilizer you can ever find. And organic. And it's organic. <laughs> okay, so how do you guys make compost here? Just a little overview of it. We use all the leaves from the fallen, the leaves that fall from the tree. Mm -hmm. It's like a recycling process. Okay. We use the fallen fruits, mm -hmm. like when the fruits drop. Mm -hmm. In order, instead of putting them or throwing them away, mm -hmm. we use them for compost. Mm -hmm. We throw them in. We water the compost heap mm -hmm. every every two days. Okay. And that's about it. Allow it to break down. Yes. So nothing yes. wasted. Anything that seems spoiled, you throw it on the compost seat and it does that. Yes. Okay. At home, you can also use, like from your kitchen, you can use the breadfruit peel, onion peels, um, pe spoiled peppers. You can throw that and do your compost eating at home. So all kitchen scraps can be thrown in a central location and create your own compost heap. Yes. Okay. okay, invite the general public to come on out to the Agri Expo and see you showcasing yourself in the technical demo booth. So come on out on the 30th and the 31st. There you would see me um, showcasing how you can make your compost at home. I will be demonstrating how to do your own compost. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Fiona. You're Have welcome. a good one. We're here at the Gingerland Secondary School and I'm going to ask the lecturer next to me to introduce himself. No, my name is Richard Galloway. I'm the chemistry teacher and integrated science teacher here at the Gingerland Secondary School. Mr. Galloway, tell us what will the Gingerland Secondary School be doing at the Agri Expo this year? Well, this year at the Agriculture Expo, we're going to have the students actually go through the process of making wine. Okay. And tell us a bit about how it's done. Um, well, Essentially, it just, it just requires, um, at this base, sugar, the sugar of which we'll be getting from some kind of fruits. Okay. Um, locally sourced foods more than likely because one of the things we want to highlight is the agro-processing okay. part of it, using our local foods here. So mm -hmm. we'll get in local foods. And it's just to activate the yeast, that is making sure it's at the correct temperature with some sugar, adding it. And from there, the rest of it is waiting. Um, so what they'll be doing at the expo is just a demonstration of the setting up process, okay. which is the processing of the fruits, mm -hmm. um, the addition of the yeast, and mm -hmm. um, some a little bit of bottling okay. so that we put the wine to set. Okay. Well, encourage the general public to come on out to see what you and your students will be doing there at the expo. Um, come on out to the um, Agricultural Expo. Um, we're going to be doing our demonstration on Friday, I think, okay. um, and I think it's around 11. So come on out and you're going to see the students of the Secondary School putting that on. Okay. Thank you so very much, Mr. Galloway, and we look forward to seeing you guys there. All right. All right, then. We're here at the Department of Marine Resources, and I'm going to ask the lovely lady standing to me to introduce herself. Hi, I'm Claudia Leibard. Okay, tell us, what would the Department of Marine Resources be doing for the technical demo boat this year at the Agri Expo? We'll be showcasing some 
skills of filleting fish like um, snapper, mai mai. We also will have um, fish fingers, fish burger patties. We also have salmon, mahi mahi. We sell those at the fisheries complex. Um, the prices are like $15 for the burgers and $11 for the fingers. And how much a pound do you sell the fillet fish for? We sell that um, $20 per pound. Okay. All right. Well, encourage the general public to come on out to the expo and see you in action filleting a fish. Today. Well, if you are like, interesting, <laughs> you can come out and see us at the agriculture fair on the 30th and the 31st of this month. Okay. Thank you, Miss Claudia. Have a good Thank one. Thanks, Shaki. I know from what you guys said there, it has stimulated an interest to our viewers, whether it's via NTV or the World Web. So I know that we'll have huge support when these technical boots become active. Now, I'll be back with more episodes as we proceed.